What's good, people? You already know who it is. It's bringing you episode one of World of Final Fantasy for PS4, man. It is time. Wait, no, it's not that time, but it's pretty much that time. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that intro. Kind of, kind of been watching a little bit of JoJo lately. My B. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is the limited edition. So we might have some DLC that we can uh, enter in later in the playthrough. But for now, we're just going to start it off. And you already know what it do. So let's go. World of yeah, Final World of Final Fantasy. <laughs> but uh, I didn't get this day one because uh, I forgot to put some money in my bank. So I actually had to go out outside into the outside world and buy this. Crazy, isn't it? I know. It's crazy. Whenever you save your game, we'll... Okay, that's cool. So I, if I bought it on PS Vita, which I hopefully will soon, um, I get switch. I get cross save data. That's actually really cool. That's the, now the PS Vita version of this. This that is how you make a freaking handheld port. That game is so clean. Oh my goodness, and it, it looks like the graphics are so good too. Demo clear data. Uh, yeah, claim my bonus. Yeah, but the graphics in the PS Vita version are really, really, really good. Col Coliseum ticket for Magic Tech Armor P. Uh oh, we gonna get a cutscene? Probably. <laughs> Prologue. Awake oh! at last. It's time. It's about that time, actually. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock. By the way, let me know if you wanna want me to talk during the cutscenes or not. For now, I won't. So, uh, yeah, I'll shut up right now. Time to wake up. Huh? 
I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. All right, so we're controlling, uh, what is his name, Ren? One of them is, you know, one of them is Ren. Then again, it's not like or business line, has picked whatever. up any. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to start this. I wasn't too hyped about it when it first came out, or when it first, uh... Maybe we should start selling you stop sandwiches talking, please? Stop along cutting with me the off, coffee. You little ignorant little kid, I'm about to beat that ass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when it first got announced, I wasn't too excited about it, but when I played the demo... Kind of just, I was like, ooh, kind of, kind of hype me, kind of hype me a little bit. So, and uh, what is it? What was I? What else was I gonna say? Um, you know, I just hope you enjoy this experience with me. Oh, uh, where do I? Oh yeah, I, I gotta go to the star. Obviously, this is this is this is, <laughs> bro. This is so similar to Final Fantasy 13. But then freaking people are gonna be like, this game is amazing, and then still say that Final Fantasy 13 sucks. That's crazy. This game is very, very, very similar, like in terms of gameplay to Final Fantasy 13. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna get into that right now. So uh, let's just go North Promenade. I think that's what it said. I think that's what it said. Yeah. The street sure. Okay, I was just making sure that he is actually talking when that happens. So, let's see. Hmm. Is this? I thought this was this was a safe point. Guess I was wrong. So obviously we gotta go in here. Nine bean ca coffee. Nine bean coffee. I thought that said cafe. Oops. Hey, I'm here. Huh? How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Huh? Mm. Oh, right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get it together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. like 10 pieces in there there you are Mon. keep it down rain How about acting your age huh? hey don't talk down to me listen last time I checked little bro I've been around a few minutes longer than you <sighs> okay okay I get it already very sorry <laughs> so what's up I'm all ears well you don't have to get all sarcastic uh you really are all ears uh what <laughs> Forget it. So, Lon, have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello! You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah, look! Come with me right no. now! Easy! 
There's nobody here! So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... I mean no one! Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna... Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the daddy! Huh? <laughs> hey, hey! You hey, can't just uh... leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? <sighs> Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused? Uh, hey, whoa, uh, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset, too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. Uh, but I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You'll live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you the like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Mirage Keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can... Do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them. You were masters of them. Powerful living illusions known as mirages. In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you, and those are the seven strongest mirages of all. With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world. Oh. So, we could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But I'm not the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours, and you can make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? 
Aha. Okay, ATB, Active Time Battle. Just like uh, Final Fantasy 13, except you didn't have this, you know, you didn't have this little bar on the side that tells you how long you have to wait. You just waited a certain time, or you waited uh, a certain time after you, after you uh, confirmed an action, so. Uh, I didn't know that it was going to be like 17 minutes of cutscenes before this, so. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll try and uh, fluff up the intro. Uh, again, or a little bit before I actually upload this, you know. Yeah, that's the way to the just game. add more, add a little bit more commentary, so it's just, uh, just not, you know, cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes. So maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I'll probably do that. All right, come on. Oh yeah, we can speed it up. I forgot. Oops. <laughs> All right, we just gotta keep attacking this dude. We can't use anything else. What about uh, abilities? Nope. All right. <laughs> Okay then. Oh, I thought I said Young Goose. I was about to be like, what? Oh, wait a minute. You're not. You're really copying Pokemon now. I'm sick of this. <gasps> oh my goodness. Battle mode. Normal. Okay. Yep. I got it. It's like classic Final Fantasy, and then this new form, which I kind of like. Kind of like it. Can this thing just die already? Oh, it is. Right. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Level up. Well, not yet, but... <laughs> Bruh. Seven gil? Are you kidding me? The figure it out yet? The two of you? We're on the surpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude. Seriously? Dude, but seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they the lose the mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the mirages too? But I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying, whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess... It does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> <sighs> Just like that? Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Save progress? No, not yet. Um, I think I'll keep going for a little bit. So, uh. Chapter 1 Land of the yep, Lilikin. Land of the Lilikin. I wonder if this is the demo area. Kind of looks like it. Who knows? Is there a cutscene about to happen? Maybe I should shut up. The Wellspring Woods. Alrighty then. 
So, this must be Grimoire. What the fuck? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, don't the worry. I'm sure that's how every the body in this world must look. In a crow just wanted to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. Bruh, I was totally gawking at them arms. My be. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're free to strut around as either size. I got you. I already know how to do this. Tip jar. Tap in the tip into the tip jar. The tips you see. Oh, I got it. I got it. Just tips. You know, advice. I guess we should head straight Alrighty down this path. Then. It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. All right, I'm trying to see this map. There we go. That's how you do the map. What? I'm Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the okay. Choco Chin. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. So there is going to be a lot of banter in this. I can already tell. Kind of like it, but I don't know if it's really conducive for a let's play. So, yeah, go ahead and speed through this. Come on, bro. Speed through it. Okay, we don't need to learn about imprisonment from this guy. We already know how to imprison them. Or at least I do. You have to weaken the... Wait. Do you have to fight it once first? Or do you have to... I said I knew everything about it, but... <laughs> I obviously don't. What the heck is wrong with me? I got you. Libra. Hey, what do you, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Alright, attack. Hello? How dare you miss... Or talk to me or my son again. What the fuck? <laughs> can we get what? <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we can imprison it. I got you. Excuse me. Ooh, I got you. I got you. Create a prism. Prism tunity. What? Prism to what? Okay. This this game is straight up making up words now. I don't get this. <laughs> You can't just walk up to mirages and imprison them. Collect them to collect the mirage, you need to lock them in. The yeah, I know. That's what I was talking about. Sometimes you need to create a prism unity. It is big, a heavy club. Wait. Okay, I got you. I got you. So all we gotta do is attack them until they're weak. <laughs> just like Pokemon. Just like Pokemon. That's how you do it. Watch. I'm gonna catch this on my first try. Watch this. Wait, I'm in it. I know the perfect name for this this guy. I know the perfect name for him. Oh my goodness, it is time. It is about that time. Now that the chocolate chick is inside the prismarium, it's yours. Bruh, I keep getting these, these get freaking uh, trophies. I kinda like them though. I kinda like them. Alright, let's see. Come on. Let me name it already. Um Name your Raj. I want to name you. Oh, no. Wait, let me change it. Crap. How do you do uppercase? I don't think I'll be able to fit it. Ugh. 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 Oh, wait, is I Oh, crap. Well, we'll just call you Billy H. You already know. Billy Hatcher, you young egg throwing mother. I mean, rolling. <laughs> egg rolling mother. <laughs> yeah, I have never played, played a Billy Hatcher game in my entire life. I don't know why I named it that. <laughs> Chick running around yep. in the prismarium. Pretty than me, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that choco chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Okay. <laughs> oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create Roasted. a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? 
Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. That does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. If you don't stop saying that. Depending on the situation, you might even the decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. Yeah, okay, I got you, bro. I'm already a pro with this. Trust me. I played the demo three times. What's up? Say something else. <laughs> oh my gosh. By the way, you two can the switch between giant size yeah, and I know. silicon size. Look at that. Look, look, Depending I know. Depending on your size, you can make different stuff. Got you. I got you. Stop you talking, bro. Stop talking. Hey, hey, stop talking. Big things on top stop of talking. <laughs> so, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the beam. Okay, I got them. you. The best way to the learn is to Okay, you shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> a few more mirages. You'll pick at the end in no time. There is going to be a ton of banter in this game. I can already tell, my boy. Oh, I haven't commentated at all. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, I might talk during those little, you know, those little uh, cutscenes that are just like tutorial cutscenes. But if it's like a main cutscene, I probably won't talk. So, yeah. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we going to do? Never the fear. Look the closely. This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a guinea what? golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. I try to look at the gimme golem. Okay, what do you want, bruh? What the? Oh, uh, so you see a luster leaf reflected in its eye. I don't think I have that. So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down to me. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chicks the mirage. Which is <laughs> okay. I got you. I got you. I know what to do. I know what to do. This this mirage board thing is, um. Very, very similar to the Crystarium <laughs> in uh, Final Fantasy XIII. I should, I should stop comparing the two games. I should stop. Because I know people are already going to see it. And what is it called? Wait, wait, wait. Cure. I'm just making sure that there's nothing that we have to unlock in order to be able to tell when there's something around. But yeah, people are going to see the similarities and they're going to be like, well, I guess either this game sucks too or Final Fantasy 13 didn't suck. <laughs> yes. Huh? Found something. Found Examine. Something. A lust relief. There we go. Yay! You have found it. Now, try examining. Oh, I was trying to skip it. Might be. Give me golem one more at a time. Yeah. I got, well, you can't. Okay, you can fast forward. I found something. Do it. That's cool. Give me, give me. Mhm. Mm yeah. Give the lost relief. Nice. Get the hell out of my way. Thank you. Whoa. It vanished. Whoa. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Mm-hmm. Alright, what's on the road further ahead? Is this another area? Oh, there's a chest over here. Don't tell me how to open a chest. Thank you. Three potions. Nice. Goodness, this game I feel like this game is gonna hold my hand so much. It already has. So, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't Oh, I cut them off. Might be. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Uh-oh. Huh. Big boy down here. Wait. 
Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh, it's like right there on the tip of my tongue. Okay, every time you guys start talking, I just want to shut up. Please. I feel like it's always something this. useful that they have to say. This is the Kata Merkrift. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we say, mirages? Oh, are you man, stupid? Catch what the fuck is wrong with you? But you're gonna get by. I'm gonna get bodied. All thanks to this kid. Thanks, kid. I really appreciate that. Oh crap! Is a behemoth? Oh my goodness. Uh, this one's not very cute. Mercurius, scary but true. Home to strange and rare, usually very dangerous mirages. If you want to explore one, make sure that you're fully prepared before diving in. Oh really? Now. <laughs> When you first, it will be too tough to handle when you first find them. If you end up getting whomped, come back later. Can I leave? Vaughn! <laughs> why did you? Now what did we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Mercris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. How about you stop being such a nigger? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I guess we're gonna have to take this freaking behemoth on. Wait, what did it just say? Something about a prison. I don't know. Oh, Foxfire. I can use Foxfire. Wait, let me use Libra. Let me use Libra. I'll figure out which one is the best. Uh, so, it's weak to water. Oh, unimprisonable. Okay. Well, there we go. Weak to water and I, uh, lightning. So, we don't have any of those. Or thunder or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's definitely... What the heck am I talking about? Ugh. Let's just go. Let's just attack it. Two damage. Okay. Oh, we're dead. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Get me out of here. Can I leave? I have to go to this escape. There's no escape? What the fuck do you mean there's no escape? You dumbass. <gasps> Look what you got us into. This better not be a game over. <laughs> Oh no. Did mm. you two die Chill. already? What? I died? But that's no way. Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkriff did kinda Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little, and then the whisk you to safety. Although, it cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little the while afterwards. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Mercrift. Or the yeah. And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> when the party has fallen, okay, I got you. We just, ugh. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience way. crossing between Would planes. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here and then uh, record a second episode. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy. Uh, I know it was a lot of cutscenes. Hopefully, it's not like that through the entire game where it's just each episode is just cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes that I don't commentate at all. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! <laughs>
and uh wait a minute you can uh you can you can go ahead and nope not you you can turn yeah you can turn back <sighs> I like that, I like that. peace goodbye